Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Byte of Geek. Uh, today we are taking a look at the new version of Vegas Movie Studio. This is uh, version 14. Um, this has uh, only just recently come out, last couple of weeks. Um, and this is the first new version since uh, Sony uh, sold the um, product line, this part of the product line, to uh, a company called Magix. Uh, who have you know they've already got their own product uh, line as well so you know they're they're, um, they're taking on this product and, and adding that to their creative uh, lineup um, so we're going to have a look uh, to see what some of the new features are um, you know have a look at the uh, the interface uh, you know is it is it any better is it any quicker um, you know I've already used it uh, for one of the videos that I've put on my channel so far. Um, so, you know, I've, I've kind of formed an opinion of it uh, for what I've used so far. So, you know, we'll, we'll have a little bit of a walk through on that. And, um, you know, let me know what you think in the comments. So this is the Vegas Movie Studio uh, website. Um, it's uh, vegascreativesoftware.com. Uh, and um, you can uh, see all the details here of all the different uh, versions they've got, the Movie Studio, Platinum and uh, Studio Suite. Um, they actually have a, a crazy upgrade uh, offer on at the moment um, and because of that, you know, um, just, just under $80, um, I actually upgraded to the Movie Studio Suite. You know, you get some um, great additions to the to the package there. It's, it's, it's just uh, unbelievable value. So. Um, I, I've gone for that and I'll just show you some of those things in, in just a second um, but you've um, you know you've got the usual um, you know specifications and product comparisons here uh, you know you can you can have a look at this in more detail yourselves if you check out the, the website um, but you know I just thought you know we'd, we'd take a look here and just have a look at some of the new features before we go into the uh, the, the software itself but just with the uh, the actual um, uh, studio 14 suite package so you know the reason why it's it's worth that that small price increase over the the standard versions. Um, you know you're getting uh, things like DVD Architect. Um, you're getting these uh, these these filter packages here for uh, titles. Um, you know which uh, you know adds some real. You know if you if you're doing a uh, movie style um, videos, then you know they're they're of great uh, great benefit there. Um, also you get um, Music Maker and uh, Sonic Fire Pro 6 as well, which are um, some just fantastic um, audio editing and, and creation um, uh, pieces of software. So definitely, uh, you know, just for, for, for having those included, it's it's a it's a great bargain. So in in general, the um, you know the, the the new changes that they've got to the software. You know they've they've got the usual um, social media um, sharing, Facebook and YouTube. Um, uh, they've got a new uh, vignette um, effects. I'm sure somebody's going to use them. It's not something I'm, I'm using just yet, but um, you know that's that's there if you need it. You know if you're doing uh, wedding uh, videos or special occasions and like that, you know I'm sure they'll come in handy. So you've got support for uh, 4K monitors uh, in the software now. So um, you know, obviously, working at higher resolutions, you know, the, the software is uh, going to take advantage of that, and you, you'll have a better uh, editing environment. Um, this is the uh, Music Maker uh, package there that you can uh, see. So obviously, you know, as, as I say, definitely worth getting the, the sweet version, um, you know, to it to have that included. So you know, even from just the the um, middle tier uh, version, the platinum uh, version and higher, you get um, the ability to use multi-camera um, uh, editing and and you know combine them into um, your single timeline. So you know that's that's just going to be uh, some some great fun to be had there. It's got a better RAM uh, handling. Um, in in the way that it operates, um, you know, most people who are um, editing videos hopefully are working on a a reasonably decent uh, PC. So uh, yeah, you know, you you get this uh, uh, Sonic Fire Pro Six, um, you know, that, that lets you um, you know customize the sound within your uh, within your video uh, tracks there titling um, components that you get the um, uh, new blue FX you know these these look uh, quite nice here 
know, and then you've got the Hit Film uh, Toolkit Pack, which has got, um, you know, it's, it's just, just kind of like 20 odd filters that you've got there. Uh, everything from lightning strikes to uh, you know tints and blurs, so you know they they'd be quite useful, I'm sure, in um, in one of your videos. So one of the other features that's in this version is um, its ability to handle or correct uh, shaky videos. So if you're using your camera uh, handheld or you're using some kind of uh, you know gorilla pod. Uh, to walk around with your with your camera like it's some kind of selfie stick or something like that, you know this um, this will help correct that um, that shaky uh, video. Um, you've you've got you know more um, fading effects and stuff like that. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you know you've got that um, all three DVDs um, transition effects. Uh, you know you do get a lot of uh, effects there. So if you you know you want to really go to town on um, on your, uh, your, your your videos, you know, that's um, definitely get the uh, the sweet version of it. So um, what we'll do is we'll just uh, load up um, version 14, and um, we'll have a look at that. I'll, I'll also load up version 13, which is the version of the software that I came to, um, and just give you a little bit of you know my my personal opinion between the the two of them. Okay, so this is uh, version. 14. This is it all loaded up on my desktop. Um, what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to load up the sample um, uh, project, and we'll just play that through, just so you can see, um, you know, what they're um, what they're promoting with this. As you can see, I mean, it, you know, this this loads up quite quickly. Um, there's a number of uh, uh, video components and audio and titles and things like that. Um, so we'll just run that through and um, you know, see what it see what it's uh, what it looks like. The city lights and illuminate and brighten I let it in and let it out I feel the summer in the air The sound of freedom everywhere So raise your glass, your home's where you belong So there you go. That's the um, the demo uh, project, I guess. You know, the uh, want to um, show off uh, some of the effects of the the software. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, this is this is the layout of it now. So what I'm, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to switch back to uh, version 13, and um, conveniently here, I've actually got um, uh, a video that I've got um, that I'm editing at the moment, but. Um, you know, it's it is a bit of an improvement uh, on the, the general look and feel, I guess. Um, you know, they've uh, they've done away. You know, in the version thirteen, they've got a simple mode here. Um, you know, creepy chunky tabs, creepy chunky buttons, and stuff like that. Um, you know, the way the menus were. Um, you know, it it has changed. Uh, quite quite a bit, you know. It's uh, making more of the space on your desktop. Uh, I'm, I'm not overly convinced by the the overall UI um, experience on this. I think they could do um, you know a little bit little bit better. You know, it could be a little bit polished. Um, you know, some of the uh, some of the things you know we've, we've menu options here. Uh, with these check boxes, you know, this this just looks a little bit unfinished to me. Um, but overall, you know, the, the, the layout is a little bit neater, um, you know, certainly uh, loading in uh, your components is, uh, I'd, I'd say, a little bit faster. And I know um, on um, some uh, reviews people have um, mentioned previously about version 13 and, you know, it crashing on them and limits with the number of items that they could have. Uh, on the timeline and all that kind of stuff, but to be perfectly honest with you, I've not had a single problem with version 13. Um, so I don't know why, um, you know, people would would be experiencing problems with that. So, um, you know, I, I can't comment as to you know what um, Magix have done in in version 14 that that has gone and corrected that because 
I didn't experience any of those problems in version 13. What I have done is to uh, load up uh, a, a project on uh, the same project on both versions of the software. And the, the thing that I did notice is rendering of the completed uh, the completed project out to a, an MP4 um, uh, movie. You know, the the overall rendering rendering time was um, pretty much identical. Um, you know, the there really doesn't seem to have been any vast improvement there. Which um, you know, I don't know whether that will come. Um, now that Magic's, uh, I've got it. You know whether they feel that it's it's rendering quick enough. So I'm rendering rendering on a um, quite a powerful uh, i7 processor, uh, 16 gig of RAM, and um, you know it's not slow by any means. But me, you know, from various uh, other benchmarks uh, that I've seen, you know, Vegas uh, um, is is not the fastest render out there. Um, so uh, you know, I feel that Magic's could have gone uh, some way to to help improve that, and that might come along in a in a future version. You know, they've they've made a, a reasonable start. Um, would I recommend that you upgrade um, from 13 to 14? Well, you know, if you've um, if you've got uh, all the uh, video FX and audio that you need, um, and you don't you know you don't really need anything else you know like working on 4k monitor or something like that it's probably not worth spending that 80 dollars to be honest with you you know if you if you'd like to have the latest version of all software then it's a it's a great opportunity now to to upgrade but personally i don't think there's enough of a difference to to justify that upgrade price i think if they'd have gone introduced a more modern uh, user interface and and make make it look like a finished product um, and added some improvements to the rendering uh, times of projects, then um, that that would be uh, definitely worth uh, spending your money on. Of course, you know if you're um, if you're being constantly hit with uh, with application crashes in in version 13, um, what I would suggest you do, you know, it, there is a download um, available on their website. And I would suggest that you you try um, version 14 out and see whether that that fixes it for you, um, because if it does, then obviously you know that that is worth the upgrade. But for me, it doesn't kind of jump to the top of the the, the queue as as the number one package to, uh, to to use. So obviously, in terms of price overall, it is a little bit cheaper than than some of the, the premium players, but. Obviously, you know, Magic's have, uh, have have made some changes to uh, to the application, and you, you know, if they continue moving forward and improving it, uh, I, I think it, uh, you, you know, it's it's certainly got some potential there. But um, that's it from from me, guys. If you uh, have enjoyed this video, give a, a thumbs up. You know, if you didn't like it, give it a, a thumbs down. And of course, you know, if you like the content, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.